so let us start by creating simple prompts to interact with the chat gpt ai and see what and what can we do so let's start with the uh, prompt bar over here at the bottom this is where you type all of your prompts or to create a conversation with chat gpt so for example let's ask simple questions like mathematical questions like let's ask what is 19 plus 20 and you just hit on enter and you see the answer the sum of 19 and 20 is 39 that's correct and you can see regenerate the answer and it's you can see 19 plus 20 is 39 and this is another way to express it and this is very correct so this is a simple one you can regenerate if you want and you can see the sum of 19 and 39 is virtually going back to the same thing saying the same thing now you can relate it with, with it in different forms sum of 19 and 39 is 39 and sum of 19 and 20 is 39 so you can see it has four different versions when you over over it over the response from the end you'll be able to see that yeah this is this is how many responses you've got so you can navigate around this is the third one and this is the second one this is the first one so you can see different responses so it's up to you on any interaction or conversation that you've created we started with chat gpt you can give your response from here whether it's a good answer or it's a bad answer usually the team are using this to kind of collect information from people so one thing you should pay attention to is as you hover over the question also you have the option to change it you can edit okay you can just come over and edit and you can add what is 19 plus 20 minus 5 or minus seven and then you resubmit and this is going to give you another version of it so 19 plus 20 minus 7 it's calculating and it should tell you the answer is 32 you can see that's very correct now you can regenerate and you see the sum of the answer is 32 to solve the problem you can start by adding 19 and 20 to get 39 and then you can see then you can subtract 7 to uh, from 39 to get the final answer which is 32 and this is very very detailed so in this one case also you have two options you have two two results the first one is just 32 and the second one expands more and then it gives you the answer so you are, can go ahead and tell them that this is correct and you can provide additional feedback since this is correct so you tell excellent you can give this as to serve as feedback to them so this is the first the most basic response but then we can ask open chat gpt is it a mathematical tool let me ask this question is it a mathematical tool then you will see the response is going to give you chat gpt is not a mathematical tool it's an artificial intelligence program that uses numeric natural language processing nlp to engage in conversation with human users it can provide information on a wide range of topics you can see it gives you what it does whether it's it's purely mathematical or not but it can give you some basic mathematics okay so this is the basic response um what you should know also is that as you this is one conversation adding two addition of two numbers you can see this is the first uh, the conversation you can see it from the sidebar here how many conversations you've had you can be able to see you can delete a given conversation and you can edit a given conversation or as you hover over this is another conversation that we had just had with it on group antenatal care so you can see this is a simple conversation and this is another conversation you can see how it has been arranging the conversations very nicely you can see multiple conversations and if you like you can come down here and clear the conversation with just a simple a simple click and you can go back to the same conversation and continue one thing you should also remember is that chat gpt remembers the previous text that you have written so for example if you want to ask it questions related to some previous things you asked in the same conversation it's very easy to remember so let me show you something that you can you can actually benefit from because i just use it to do some an assignment for someone just now about a medical topic group antenatal care so we can ask the same question so we can learn together so let's see i, I just asked it's a simple question so we can come over here and say create a new chart and then you can say write about group antenatal care okay. so this is going to write globally from the global perspective okay so this is not too specific so you can see group antenatal care is an alternative medical model of parental care that involves women receiving in a group setting instead of traditional one-on-one -on -one visits with a healthcare provider so you can see the details it's just giving you content okay so this is just an assignment that someone was given and I just use it to, I just use it, you can see, it quickly give it a topic and it has written something. If this is not enough for you, you can say write more. You can just uh, write more. You just type write more and you can see it's going to give you more 
more and more content. Another care is a model care that has gained popularity in recent years as an alternative to the traditional one-on-one -on -one visits between pregnant women and their healthcare providers. So you can see it's going to write quite more, more content as regards that. So this is also generic. Uh, for example, I wanted to focus on Africa. I wanted to focus on African cases so I can specify also uh, during this prompting. Here, so in summary, group antenatal care is an innovative and patient-centered approach to prenatal care that has many benefits. So you see it has written a whole lot of paragraphs for you. So you can write to be specific. You can say, can you relate this to Africa? And you'll be surprised. It's going to carry out. Yes, group antenatal care has great potential for improving maternal and fertile health outcomes in Africa. Uh, maternity and disease rates are un unacceptably high. For example, it cited countries, yeah, like in Ethiopia, in Uganda, you can see the cases Okay, you can see the, how it's it has now covered Af Africa. You can see one of the key benefits of group antenatal care in Africa is this, 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 this. And it cited key areas that things like this have happened. You can see in many African women, many African women face uh, pressure during birth and, and all that. And additionally, African opportunity for women, you can see it captured things that are directly related to Africa. And these are plagiarism-free content. In summary, Group Anarchia has potential to improve maternal and fet uh, fetal health outcomes in Africa by providing more accessible, culturally sensitive and supportive model of care. Okay, so you can see it's really related to Africa and it's cited case study. That's what I like most about it. And then maybe at this point, I want it to be related this case study to Nigeria, for example, because I live in Nigeria. So let's see, can you relate this to Nigeria? Okay, so let's see what it does. You can see, yes, group and natural care is relevant to Nigeria, which is one of the highest maternity mortality rate in the, rates in the world. Access to prenatal diseases, particularly uh, challenging, is becoming a, a challenge in Nigeria. In rural areas, you can see it cited all these, implementing this. Okay, so we can interact and ask it to write more to include cities in Nigeria. So we can say write more to include names of cities and villages in Nigeria. And you can see it has included cities like Ibadan, Lagos, which are major cities in the southwest. It has included Kano, Kano from northwest, Gombe from northeast, and even Ife in the southwestern part of Nigeria. So you can see it has been specific according to what I asked it to include. So these are some of the key things. And then it gives us a summary of the whole idea. So you can see how much content it has just written for us for just this very assignment. We went global and then we centered towards Africa and then we moved to Nigeria and even in Nigeria we had case studies of cities and villages and communities where some of these things are happening. Maybe what we may need at the end is just references to couple up the report so we can just submit the assignment. So we can ask it to write references. References. Okay, so I'm not sure which of the text. Okay, so just write okay, references for the group antenatal content. You have just you have just written. Okay, so write references for the group antenatal care content you have just written. Okay, so write references for the group antenatal care content you have just written. So we hit on enter and let's see. So you can see it has to, I apologize for any confusion earlier because I forgot that we are talking about the same content because we're in the same conversation. So you can see how it is arranging the, the bibliography very nicely. The format and everything is capturing current for fantastically and correctly. So if you want more references, you can say write more references, but then I wanted to write references also related to Nigeria that it has used. So write more references related to Nigeria. She has, she has some references, additional references related to Nigeria and group antenna talk here. So you can see it's just written. It has captured some key references that are Nigerian based and it's putting it down. One thing to just pay attention to is the dates, okay? Because they said anything earlier than anything after 2021 is going to be a problem for this technology. Okay, so you can see you can just go ahead and copy the content and just put them in another Word document. So you can do proofread and put some edits. And I think you can virtually 
have very little or anything to add. Okay, everything has been captured, including the bibliography. So you can just go ahead, format it, and submit to your lecturer. And I'm sure this is going to be plagiarism free, like I said. So this is basically how to relate with the chat GPT and write a very basic assignment related to antenatal. This is head medical related. I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.